day people welcome back to our Barcelona B career mode we are with uh, sorry we're top of the league we're playing New D Almera in this game um, who are sat in seventh and 19 odd points behind us so hopefully we're gonna get another three points here and pretty much bag the title so fingers crossed that does happen we're in a, a decent run of form and have been for a while so Hopefully, we get the three points here. Pretty much normal starting lineup as well. Musunda and Cliver on the wings. Vincent Phil has come into the midfield to join. Who's in midfield? Ruiz and Busquets, I think. And they're well, yeah. So the only change is really to line up. Uh, is Vincent Phil coming in? So, and that's because Benton Kerr did get a slight injury for in the last game, so he's out for three weeks or so. Oh, lovely. Lovely ball from Phil into Cucurella out to Musonda. Oh, trying his trickery. Failed miserably. Unlucky, son. Unlucky. That's right. We're still on still on the ball. Oh, free ball to Lozano. Lay off for Vincent Phil. Easy. Boom. 1-0. 11 minutes. That's how we roll here in Barcelona B. The young Luxembourg... Um, central attacking midfielder slots it home. Lovely little through ball from Lozano and harder to miss from there. Although it wouldn't surprise me if he did, but hey ho, there's the goal 12 minutes in. That is a good, good start for us in this game. So, one in the bag already. Happy times. Also, Sinek, thank you for all the support on this series, guys. There's been a lot of comments, likes, and, and new subscriptions lately, so thank you all for that. Hopefully it will be a long, a long running career mode. Won't be long till we win the Liga. Hopefully we'll win that after a season or two. Maybe a little bit optimistic there, but we'll see. And then obviously the Champions League is the, the end goal. And I'm not sure what we'll do from that point, but that is quite some time from now. So I don't need to think about that just yet. Musonda! Getting carried away speaking about Champions League football and Charlie Musonda Jr. slots in for our second goal of the game just 20 minutes in. Lovely, and it's his fifth goal in the league already as well. He is magic. We only got him in, in the January window as well and he's just bagging goals, bagging assists. I would highly recommend him to anyone. Oh, Lozano. Oh, working his muscle. Plays it into Musonda. Musonda! 3-0. 22 minutes in, this is going to be goals galore. Lozano done so well, just waste off the number 5 there. Managed to slot it in for Musonda. And then he slots it in with his left foot. Six goals in the league now for Musonda. Lozano bagging two assists already as well, look at that. Our main man, target man, and he's being more of a playmaker. It doesn't matter, we're getting the goals, and by the looks of it, we're going to get the win. If I mess this up now, I might as well resign as a manager and stop playing FIFA that would be embarrassing let's hope let's get four five six goals why not go on Misunda. ah not quite unlucky you know what? for a team who's seventh in the league then they're, they're not doing too well come up against teams lower lower in the league and struggled a lot more you know it's not often that we score three in 20 minutes let alone three in one half it's normally a 45 minutes, nil-nil kind of kind of games for us lately anyway. So, this is promising. A hey. Lozano, I see you. Ah, defender stepped, fair play. Hola, let's go. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. Ah, I'm not sure how they've, they've missed that one, but... That was really good football from Almeida there. They really should have got the goal back. I'm not quite sure how they didn't, but... Hey, it's fine by me. And the bottle's just dropped on the floor because of my cat. What a dick. Offside, thank you. There we go. Five minutes till half-time. We'll just hold off for a little bit now, I think. And check. We'll check the bench. Not, not just yet, but... Look at rotating some of the first team players. Seeing as I don't, seeing as we're winning by so many goals, yeah, we don't really need them on wasting that energy. Keep them fresh. 
I've gone with Ruiz. Yeah, keeping fresh, avoid injuries, so might have a look at doing that in half time. I'm not sure who we've got on the bench. I think Charpentier's on. It would be good to get him a game. Um, oh, come on. Really? Oh, not Musonda. Come on. It's not even going to be a foul. Please get up. Please be fine. Ah, Clivert. I haven't even noticed Justin Clivert this game. I haven't really noticed him much in this whole career mode, to be honest with you. I'm hoping that he's going to be, a, a, you know, a star player, but it's not looking promising. Right, here we go. Ah, oh, we've got Gomez, Charpentier. Decent players on the bench. We'll leave it just for now. Just for now, and then I think I'll look at bringing on like, Gomez and maybe I Isaac and Charpentier. Oh, well done, the squats. Oh, I've not really got anywhere to go now. There we go, Cucurella with the run. Come on, Lozano, get in there. Ruiz, Square, someone. There we go, Vincent Thiel. Uh, I mean, that was optimistic, to say the least. Right, okay, let's look at some changes. Quickly. Thiel has awful stamina. Let's get him off with Gomez. Let's get Charpentier on for Cliver because I haven't really noticed Cliver all game. And it's David Charpentier. We love him. I'm going to say that about Cliver. Now he's going to go and just score an awesome solo goal, isn't he? Nope. Never mind. <laughs> Spoke too soon. I think I jinxed it there. Go on, Cliver. Run. There we go. And knock on. Oh, come on. That was awful. Flipping out, Kikarella. Let's get back, boys. No, that's yeah. Well, that's no real surprise. That was awful defending. That was awful playing in midfield. So, didn't expect any less than a goal there. Really, look at all that space in the centre of the park. Absolutely no one there. Right, changes on. Number seven and number eight coming on. God's sake. Right, well, no clean sheet for Ortola. Sorry, buddy. Blame your defenders and midfielders. Don't blame me, though. Definitely not. Okay. Ah, oh, nice ball. Tell you what, no. I'm scared now that Almeida are actually going to bring this back somehow. Run, 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 Charpentier. Ah, just not quick enough, Charpentier. I need to probably play you more of a central role, to be honest with you. He's got decent technical stats, I think, but... Oh, no. Oh, come on. No! 3-2! The comeback is on Valmira. From 3-0 up in 20 minutes to 3-2. Just 20 minutes into the second half. This is not good. We're really on the back foot now. We need to get another goal. And David Charpentier might be the one to do it. Oh, he's taking too long on the ball. Pass the ball. Selfish, selfish French winger. Honestly, that should have been the goal. Could have easily played it into Lozano or slotted it into the bottom corner, but chose neither. And now Amira threw on goal. No, so oh, thank God. That was a bit lucky, but... Let's make our last change. Um, I got a lot of options here, really. Just going to bring on Fede for a scratch. Just get some fresh legs into midfield. And just going to drop us onto defensive as well. Oh, okay. I won't play it short. <laughs> we can just hold possession in midfield and perhaps just use pace of like Gomez to get forward I mean it didn't work out then but and up Bruno I can't remember who's under there we go lovely come on oh my god oh, Charpentier what oh, I think he just punched it Punched it forward, literally, like, he, oh, come on, it's such a 
so I'm, I'm you know what I'm not stressing we're gonna be fine we're not losing this lead we're not losing this lead come on boys Barcelona there we go Chapentia control this one congratulations it's not that hard is it there we go. do something with it nice back post oh, okay Lozano will do no crossbar keep us knocked it onto the crossbar what a save he really should have finished that I don't know how that's not gone into the back of the net. And now Amir will come on the counter attack. Goes out wide. Gomez, is he there? Yes, he's there to collect. And almost kick it out for a throw. Cucurella manages to keep it on. Okay, there we go. Back in possession now. Last five minutes. We'll go ultra defensive. Hold on, Lozano. One on one with the keeper. Surely he's going to finish. Top scorer. Wow. What? was that I understand it might have been your weak foot but come on I expect big things from you Lozano top scorer 74 rated odd striker been good for us most of the season but lately you've just been oh, trash literally like awful no one has actually scored a decent goal last oh there's another chance for Lozano to redeem himself take it on your right foot there we go alright I take back what I said, Lozano. You've got your goal now. You've broken your duck. And that's 4-2 up. That is the game sealed. Lovely interception from Gomez. And a neat little ball. At least he finished that one, eh? So that will be the game, I think. 4-2 victory for Barcelona B. Happy days. Hopefully Valadoy drops some points so we expand that gap at the top of the table. Rather than just goal difference. There we go. Yep, full time is expected. Decent, decent game to be fair. I mean, they only had one shot on target and somehow scored two goals. I'd love it when that happens. <sighs> right. Elsewhere around the ground. Granada 1 2 0. I think they are in the top 10, top 5 maybe, but I don't think that's too much of a concern. And there we are. Three point gap over Rayo Valencano. And 37 games played, so not many to go at all now. I think it's Gujin Gu next up. Just run through our training quickly. Busquets 71 and Gomez got up to 78. Awesome. Finally, some progress. Oh, well, Charpentier still sat there on 66. Man never goes anywhere, does he? Press conference. We'll praise. Oh, it's Ralph. Sporting next. And you're welcome, Vincent Phil. You are welcome, sir. Yeah, Sporting in the next game. How's the table looking? We've got a five goal difference lead, just three points ahead. Sporting are currently 12th in the league. Hmm. Yeah, Granada are creeping up as well. Who is after this? So Sporting and then Loca, who I think are bottom of the table. So let's just mix up the squad a little bit. Bring in Isaac, get Vitinho. Why not? Out wide. Fede, yeah, Bentenko, you can probably sit there. Miguel, mm, not sure. Not sure about you. We'll go with Tadine and Bielik at the back. Palencia can come in. Conchal, looks like you're going to get a game, bud. I want Moise Keane. Maldonado. Amu on the bench really don't have any other midfielders that we can even rotate, do we? No, okay, that's fine. Not a problem. Now let's bring on Sporting, see how this, I guess, bit of a second team cope. Three one all draws in the row for Sporting in their last, in their last uh, three games, so. And make that four in a row for Sporting. Um, Vitinho missed a penalty, so we could have won that game. On power, by a player injured. Jose Miguel is out for three days, and we're still only we're down to a one-point gap now. And the next game is against Lorca, and I'm pretty sure they're like bottom of the table. If we don't win this, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Where is all of our? We got no one. No we want Bueno there. Actually, we'll move Bueno into there, and we'll get. 
se chiama che coverla a chi mi yes 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 right i'm gonna quickly just check where loca are currently sat in la liga la liga 2 sorry i'm sure we just saw them and they're pretty much sat bottom yeah second bottom they've won five games all season come on boys home game pretty much our first team out there you've got clive at lozano and musonda and you've Oh, we've drawn. What am I doing? This is going to make it tight. Van and Carno have not yet played their game. If they do win, they go a point ahead of us. I mean, promotion's looking likely, but that championship is just slipping from our grasp. Let's hopefully they hopefully they lose. <laughs> we'll see. Let's go forward. See what we've got in our next game. There's still a couple games left of the season, so we might be all right. When are Valencano playing? Still haven't played. Come on. Oh, they have played. I I, I didn't see. Right. Oh, Maxi Mendez. 60 overall. 81 to 94 potential. Right back. He looks good. Welcome. Uh, Martin Miguel. I think I've just kept you because you've got a nice hat. Wow. Okay. That right back looks good. I mean, we've already got Hakimi. And Palencia. I don't know how we're going to fit this guy in, but he's too good to turn down with that potential as well. Spanish right back, medium, medium, three star, three star, six, five foot eleven. You know, just ah. Honestly, I don't know how we're going to fit him in. Maybe, maybe loan him out next season, but his potential is just too good. Perhaps we'll just loan out Palencia or Hakimi next season and rotate one and you know one and the other. Right, so Valencano did not win. They lost their game, so we keep our two-point gap ahead of them. A bit of luck there, and we have three games left. So we are going to be finishing off the season very shortly, guys. And the next episode, I will record the season ending, and it will feature those three games. It will be a massive episode, so I hope you all look forward to that. Until now, until then, I've been Kazoo Ken on Dizachi HD. Bye for now.